my friends, today is Wednesday, August 3rd. We had a really fun jam last evening at the barbecue pit in Rolla, Missouri. We were joined by Tim Carter from Limestone, Tennessee. And for those of you who are keeping score, Limestone, Tennessee happens to be the birthplace of Davy Crockett. <laughs> so uh, I don't know how well Tim knew Davy, but you know, being neighbors and all, I imagine they knew each other. <laughs> yeah, the jam was good. More good news is I talked to everyone at the jam last night and they've all agreed to come tomorrow evening, which will be Thursday evening, here to the shop and we're going to do a live performance right here from the shop. I don't expect too much yet because still my internet connection isn't the best, but we're going to do our best to try to uh, put on a good show for you and we would love to have you tune in. So it'll be tomorrow evening around 7 p.m. And uh, we might get a surprise guest to come and make a surprise appearance. You just never know. <laughs> the person that everybody has been asking for. <laughs> but I'm not going to name any names. So that should be fun tomorrow evening around 7 p.m. Uh, the only uh, downside of that is Gary Haven, our regular guitar player, won't be able to make it. But uh, Beverly can switch to guitar. And Tim Carter is here staying at the rental retreat and he sat in on our jam last night and did a nice job so he can also sit in on guitar and so we'll have fun. So tomorrow evening, 7 o'clock, be there or be square as they say. And I want to say another thank you to whoever sent me a large can of semi-chrome polish. Can you read it there? It's yeah, semi-chrome polish. I didn't even know it came in a canister like this. I'm always used to using it out of the tube as such. So, whoever sent that, thank you very, very much. I really appreciate it. And, of course, it will get put to use. There's no doubt about that. Regarding the status of the Ibanez, you can see right here that it's looking good. And I'm going to take the clamps off the uh, bridge right now in front of you here and see what the bridge looks like. I think it's going to be just fine. It all went together really well. Of course I made the bridge from scratch. looks really good and you might be saying well it's not the same color as this well this gets the uh, rosewood gets you know darker over time number one and we haven't put any oil on this yet so it'll match pretty close when we're finished but uh, we'll have to cut a slot you know intonate it cut a slot and all that good stuff and by the way uh, the key feature of this was the bow in the top Let's just see if this helped the bow at all. I don't think it's gonna help it very much. I'll be truthful, but you know, I think it might've helped it a 16th of an inch. Uh, it might've helped it that much. Cause it was, it was well over a quarter. And uh, I would say now it's maybe a, an eighth or maybe a hair above an eighth. So it helped it some, you know. And you might say, well, how, did, how could that have helped it? Well, I put a stiffer bridge on here. I made it slightly bigger. And I pressed this top flat for a whole evening, uh, one, you know, overnight. And to, to help it relax a little bit. And then I put a large, heavy call on the inside to help flatten it also. So that's the way that you can kind of, and then when, once the glue sets up, it'll kind of hold a little bit of that flatness in there. Is it gonna last forever? Probably not, but it, every little bit helps, you know, and that's, that's just the bottom line. You gotta do what you gotta do. The last bit of news is I've made a dent on my new video encyclopedia. I started in the setup area, as I mentioned, and uh, I'll be doing some more on that uh, pretty much every day. I'm gonna try to film at least a short little segment uh, just about every day on that until I get the setup section finished. I'm hoping I'll have it finished maybe within a week, something like that. And then we'll, you know, refine it and uh, put it out there on the website for sale. And uh, the early adopters will, uh, 
get free updates if I make updates to it. I'm sure there will be questions and concerns and issues raised when you go through it the first time and I'll make changes to it to try to accommodate any of those things that we see. But uh, I think it's turning out pretty well. It's kind of uh, about like I was expecting or hoping it would turn out. And I think you'll enjoy it. I think it's going to be a really good reference material for anyone wanting to do their own setup. Well, that's about all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. And hopefully we'll see you tomorrow evening live right here on the channel with a live concert. And hopefully a surprise guest. We'll see you then. Yeah.